Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're just forward of the starboard side mess deck on USS Missouri, and we're going to do a quick walkthrough and show you some of the differences. Uh, these spaces are the same layout, more or less, uh, between New Jersey and Missouri, and yet they're used for very different purposes. So here is the Mardet office. Uh, on us, it's a Mardet birthing compartment. The feature here that I like the best is the sandbox for weapons clearing. Now in New Jersey, we were able to find one of the freestanding weapons clearing stations where you put a gun in, clear it into a rubber baffle. Uh, this is the cheaper, simpler version, which is a bucket full of sand. Here, before the Marines turn their weapons back in, they verify that they're unloaded by putting the muzzle into the sand and unloading it. If a round goes off, it's absorbed by the sand, all the explosion of the uh, projectile coming out and everything is contained in a steel box. You can also see where the uh, 50 caliber machine guns are mounted when not up on the tripods on this ship. This should be a bread cooling room on New Jersey. Uh, however, here it is the small arms locker, which is important. You'll see later, they can't put a small arms locker where we do. Here's the bread room where all the bread made in the bakery, uh, although it's not open to the public, we use it for storage. So the fact that it's interpreted is cool. On New Jersey, this is a solid bulkhead. You come into the bakery and you go out. And this space is pretty incredible in Missouri because it either still smells like bread or they've put in like some Disneyland style smell effect to give you a more sense activating experience in here. Uh, on New Jersey, pretty much the whole ship smells like ship. Now, like I said, this is a bulkhead on us. We have to go all the way around the mess decks and then come up forward. On New Jersey, where this wall is, there's a bulkhead about here with a single door in, and this whole space is the small arms locker. There's no access there. That is because right down this hatch is Mardet birthing. So if there's some sort of general quarters, the Marines run up this hatch, the first three men would come to this door and be handed a 12 gauge shotgun and keep going, one each to the forward and aft gangway. And the rest of the crew uh, would get their regular weapons issued and then head out this door. As we continue around, we've got the access to the ship's incinerators here. This is an airlock, so there's doors on each side, so you can open this one, throw trash in, because on the other side of this, the incinerators are probably undergoing combustion, which is sucking in a bunch of air. Uh, you don't want to open a door and just suck everything in. So two sets of doors. Uh, this door would take you to the incinerator. We've done videos on that before, I'll link in the description below. On us, this is the filter cleaning shop. On Missouri, originally, this was the quick stop, which New Jersey has significantly further forward, but it got turned into the ship store office apparently sometime in the 80s. If you couldn't tell that this was an 80s office from uh, the general aesthetic of the space. Coming over this way, we've got the most important thing on the ship. On New Jersey, there would be a door right here to get into the butcher shop. But on Missouri, critically, the butcher shop has been deleted. You're not butchering whole cuts of meat on board like you were in World War II. And it has been replaced by, drum roll please, the donut shop. On New Jersey, we had to make our donuts in the bakery. But on Missouri, they have a whole donut shop. That's the only reason I can think of that Tommy Lee Jones would want to take Missouri instead of New Jersey and under siege the documentary. This video, I just wanted to show you the most critical difference between these two ships. Uh, the only edge in combat fighting, uh, war fighting ability that Missouri has over New Jersey uh, is reutilizing the dead space that was the butcher shop into a donut shop so that her crew had higher morale in the fight than New Jersey's. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to Missouri and support their continued restoration uh, so they can buy more of those uh, stink bombs that make the donut shop smell like bakeries. Also linked below are their social media pages so you can follow the restoration efforts and see when they're opening new spaces like the donut shop here, which is available on their regular self-guided tour route. 
You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.